welcome back to One Crafty Ginger. I'm Mercedes. If you enjoy quick and easy craft and DIY projects, thrift store flips, clearance finds, and some rescue dogs, then you're in the right place. So today I have a really great video for you guys. I'm super excited to share it with you. As most of you know, I go to my local thrift store a couple times a week just to find cool vintage stuff for my house. And I have found some really cool things this last month or two. So I thought I would share them with you. So to start off, my favorite finds that I got at the thrift store. Oh my goodness, you guys. So first I found this. And this is a Pyrex hot air balloon dish from 1958. It was a promotional set. So first I found this piece for $1.50. I found it about a month and a half ago. And then just like two weeks ago, I found the matching piece. Look at how cool that is. I'm trying to get it so you can see it without the ring light there. And this one was $2. So what happened with the set originally, there was a metal piece that clipped onto here and then came up over with a circle on the top and then this would sit above it as a chip and dip set. So there's no other pieces, there's just these two. And my kitchen, I decorate my kitchen in teal, so this is perfect. So what I did is I took the bowl and then I took just this little cup from the Dollar Tree and then I put this little bowl on top and then display it like that in my kitchen. How cute is that, you guys? So this piece was, I think, $2, and this one was $1.50. So I absolutely love it. I love vintage Pyrex. And speaking of vintage Pyrex, I also found, um, at a different shopping trip, I found the Gooseberry set which is the white with the pink gooseberries and then I found the so this is like the small bowl and then this is like the medium bowl and I think there's another bowl that's bigger that it goes with they're mixing bowls so I found these so the same thing I take this and then I just take a cup that I got from the Dollar Tree and then I set the dish on top. Actually, I think I flipped it around the other way. Like that. There we go. And then I display this. And this is on display in this room here um, that I film in for filming. So that was cool. So these were $1.50 a piece. So $3 for this cool vintage Pyrex gooseberry set. And then sticking along the, we'll just continue kind of with dishware. Um, let's see, yeah, there's so many fun pieces, you guys. I found this for, I think this was a dollar. It's just a milk glass, I think they call it like a compote dish. I thought that was really pretty, so I picked it up. Oops, and I found, this is really cool. So this is just stamped USA in the bottom. And it's a little dish, but it's transferware. And transferware is where they would like put like a design on ink, and then put like a piece of like a like a piece of paper down on it, like tissue paper, and get it in the ink. And then they would lift it up and then put it on the the, the china pieces. And then when they put it on, they pat it on, and then they pull it off, and then it would reveal the pattern on it. So I got this really cool, pretty piece of brown transfer ware, just a little jar. And this I think was only a dollar because like I love, I love vintage finds. A lot of the stuff you're going to see is a lot of vintage stuff. It's, it's cause I love vintage. And I also found this cute little, it's called a butter pat. It's not stamped on the bottom. It was a dollar. So their butter pat, so essentially back in the day when they would have like their formal dinners, they would have these little dishes, these little pieces, and they would cut a little piece of butter, a little pat of butter, and they would put the pat of butter on there. So when you would have your dinner, you'd get your your, your knife and you'd scrape off some butter and you'd butter your, your dinner um, with these little butter pats. So I thought those were cool. And these are really cute when you stack them up, like you get several of them stacked together and they're really cute. Let's see what else. So I also got... This is really pretty. This 
little pitcher here. And the cool thing about this, you guys, it's called, it's called Ironstone. So it is stamped Kensington, Staffordshire, Ironstone, England, Wayside, 1821. You guys can see. So Ironstone is highly collectible in like the vintage shopping like area, like the vintage collectors love Ironstone and they love that it's stamped. So I thought that was super cool. It's really pretty. And then on the back side, it's just a simple flower. I'm trying to get like the ring light here is really bright. Like, I hope you're not going dark and light. Let's see, there you go. And then I also found this crock for a dollar. And I've been wanting a crock like this. So the bummer is if you turn it around, so you can kind of see it's cracked all the way up so like it cracked open and then they glued it back together but that's okay because if i turn it around ta-da you can't see it so when my mom came to visit um for vintage market days she brought out some of my grandmother's silver and so i display i should have brought with me my spoons my grandmother's silver spoons from her silver set um are displayed and my little crock so it's not only a nice piece but it also is sentimental because it has my grandmother's um, silver in it which is really nice uh, let's see what else I got so I also got so this is a funny story so I found this marble piece for a um, dollar fifty it's really heavy I just found the marble piece and it has a rim there so I'm assuming it had a cloche like a glass cloche, but I didn't care. I thought it was just a cool little tray. So I bought this for $1.50. Two weeks later, I found a glass dome cloche for $1.50. And you guys are not going to believe this. Check it out. It fits. So look at that. So for $3, I have a really nice marble cloche that I can display stuff on. How cool is that? So, rule of thumb there, guys. If you go to thrift stores and you find a piece, go ahead and grab it, like when I bought this piece, because you never know when you're gonna find the matching piece. So if you see something you like, you might as well grab it. And for $1.50, as my dad says, you can't beat that with the stick. I got this really pretty, nice white pitcher. It's new. It says, like, made in China, dishwasher, microwave, and oven safe. This was $2. I just thought it'd be, it'd be pretty to put flowers in, and it's already had flowers in it, so I put flowers in it and put it on my kitchen counter. I got this really pretty cool rolling pin. I think it was $2. I just thought that was super cool. Actually, my friend Ashley found it, so thank you, Ashley. She found it, and she's like, oh, I think you might like this. So she was right, I did. And then let's see what else. Dishware, dishware, okay. So, something I always grab if I see it is copper. I love copper anything. And I saw this. You guys are not going to believe the price for this. Like, look at this. This is Bon Appetit. And you put, like, a cake in there. And then you put the lid on it. How cool is that? How much do you think I paid for this? Do, 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 do. Anyway, you guys, I paid a $1.50. A dollar fifty for this really cool copper cake pan. Like, oh my goodness! Like, what? What a deal! Like, oh my goodness! I can't believe that it was such a good deal. And then to continue on with the copper, um, a friend of mine picked this up. She saw this and she grabbed it for me. It was five dollars, so it was a little bit pricier. But it's a cool copper pitcher. I think it's fairly new, but I love it. And then I also found just this, uh, I think on Monday, a copper, what are they called, like mule cups. And it kind of matches, kind of. So I thought those are cool. So this cup was only a dollar and it's in really good shape. And then let's see. So that's kind of mainly most of the dishware. Um, I also did get um, some milk glass bud vases for like a single stem of flowers. These were only a dollar, so I got this one 
and I got this one and I got they have a, they had a bunch of these so I grabbed a couple because they're really cute kind of just stacked together so these were just a dollar each and then also with milk glass this is also one of my favorite finds I've been watching on Instagram a lot I follow a lot of vintage resellers and they do like live sales where they sell their stuff that they find but they talk about what the item is where it's from why it's worth what it is and that kind of thing so I've been learning a lot like learning about all sorts of cool vintage pieces like the iron stone like I wouldn't know about that and one of the things that they were selling um, about a month ago is uh, one of these trays milk glass tray it was hand painted at one time you can see the remnants of the paint so this is called and I don't know if you could tell but there's like it's like a scallop there you go it's like a scallop pattern inside this is called Dith Ridge Glass. It's from the Victorian era, like the late 1800s, early 1900s. And ladies would keep this on their vanity. So it's a trinket tray. And they would put like their jewelry and their trinkets or their little cold cream jars on there. So yeah, so this is over 100 years old. If I would have saw it before, not knowing what it was, I probably would have passed because I would just been like, oh, that's cool. Or maybe I would have bought it because it is cool. It was a dollar, you guys. A dollar for a piece that is a hundred years old. I mean, how cool is that? So this is gonna be on a little vanity here on display. So that was really pretty. That was also one of my favorite finds. All right, so let's go ahead. I think that's up for like dishware stuff. Um, so let's go ahead, I'll show you some home decor cause you know I'm a sucker for home decor. So I got this really cute, just a little, what do you call this? A pitcher, just a metal pitcher. I think it was like $1.50. I just thought it was cool for decorating, putting flowers inside. I got this, you know I'm a sucker for tear tray. Your girl likes tear trays. So this was $2, this little wire tear tray that I'm going to put in a bathroom and put some stuff on it. And then I also got for, I think this was three dollars this giant basket that you could put all sorts of snacks in and it has a really cool wooden handle and this came in handy my mom and stepdad and niece came to visit this last week and they brought a bunch of snacks so I just piled their snacks in the basket and kept it on the kitchen counter I got this really cool copper um, sleeve um, for it was a dollar so essentially what would have happened is inside there would have been like a white ceramic or porcelain like dish that sat inside of it and then it would this would sleeve on top and then you would have the dish inside but I don't know if you could tell there's like there's lovebirds how cute is that so that was a dollar and then more copper was this really cool copper planter funny story about this I have a story for everything you guys so this had like a faux plant in it and I thought it was that foam you know, comment down below if you guys remember me talking about how someone had sprayed foam inside like a milk jug and I had to like dig it out like it was a pumpkin. So I thought, okay, same concept. I'll just have to dig it out, right? No. I get home. It is like plaster. Like make a cast for your arm and your leg plaster that was inside of here. And I was like, well, that's it. I ain't getting it out. I'm just going to take it back. I just, I give up. I'm not even going to try. My husband, bless his heart. Had a rough day at work one day and he came home and he took like a hammer a sledgehammer to it and he got all he got all of the plaster out of the out of the container and cleaned it up so how cool is that so this is a dollar fifty and then I filled it up so also on Instagram I watch like I see all like how people style their decor and they use a lot of these like little spools of thread and stuff as like bowl filler so these were 50 cents each and I just grabbed a bunch of what they had and then stuck them inside. So I thought that was super cool. And then I got, I got this piece here. This was $2 and it's a really cool like mail envelope piece. And I bought it cause I thought it would be cool just to throw some like faux greenery inside like that and then hang it up. So, yeah, so two bucks. I thought that was super cool. And then 
What else? Home decor piece. Oh, I got these today, actually. These gorgeous wooden candlesticks for $2 a piece. Look at how, I don't know if you guys can see, like, how pretty that wood is. And they're pretty substantial. Like, they're huge. So I got these for $2 a piece. And another wood piece that I got was this really cool big tray. And it even has like the padding and the nubs on it right here. So you can sit it down. So I thought it'd be cool like on, an, like on my ottoman with like flowers or candles or whatever. And this was $5. Our thrift store has really good prices. Mm -hmm. Like, well, most of the time it's really good prices. Sometimes it's outrageous. Like the Pyrex that I got for $1.50 each, they had a set of the brown wheat bowls and they wanted $100 for a set of four. That's $20 a bowl. I paid $1.50 a bowl. So I don't know who prices that stuff or I guess when it comes in, it comes in, but it's just like, I don't know what they're thinking. So that is all of my home decor. And last, but certainly not least, because you know, I'm a crafty girl. I love me to craft. I got this really cool pack of scrapbooking paper for $3. It's like Christmas paper, and of course they they go bananas with the tape at this place. I'll tell you what they uh, they have a they have a good old time with the with the tape at this joint. I should have should have peeled this off. All right, well we're just it's just gonna get torn in the back. There we go. So it has all hands and pieces in it of these gorgeous holiday vintage because you know I love vintage oh look at, oh my goodness look at the Santa guys paper for three bucks so I was pretty stoked about that because I always use paper oh speaking of Christmas comment down below would you guys be interested in some Christmas in July slash winter in July um, craft projects? Uh, comment down below. Let me know. I would like to hear your thoughts on that because I was thinking about doing a couple times this month a couple of really cool just like winter Christmassy kind of DIY craft projects that I didn't get to last winter. Um, so comment down below. Let me know if you'd be interested. And then the last items that I got for a buck each were these really cool punches. So this one is a snowflake. This one is a heart. And this one is a star. And they just punch out stars on your paper. And they were only a dollar each, so I thought that was a really good deal. So I got the paper and I got some really cool punches. So yes, so let me know. Uh, a couple things, so comment down below. Uh, are you guys interested in Christmas in July? And comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was in my thrift store haul today. I would love to hear your opinion and see what you guys liked. Also, the winner to my 700 subscriber appreciation gift will be announced in this video. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it because you never know. It might be you. And welcome to everyone who has recently came over to my channel, especially from Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I thank you guys so much for coming over and subscribing and joining my family here. I really appreciate it. And we have reached over 800 subscribers, which is super cool. So keep your eyes out. Because you know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do an 800 subscriber appreciation gift to show my love and the thanks for everything for you guys for supporting me, for watching my videos, for commenting, liking, sharing, and for subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope you guys have a marvelous day, a wonderful rest of your week, and until next time, goodbye.